I was really uh, blessed to have three days in a row with the same light. And so I uh, had taken out a, another Canon camera the day before and was not real pleased with the results with that. So I went back out, didn't change any settings on this camera, used the same settings. And the clip was a little bit overexposed, but I expected that because we were in harsh afternoon light and in, uh, bright sunlight. But it was just a chance to uh, see how that camera would handle the lighting conditions. So I thought I would show you this very simple color grade. Um, and I'll go through and explain uh, what I did. But it's something you can easily do if the footage isn't horrible. Now, I could have taken it farther, but I wanted to keep it realistic and uh, also um, keep it simple. In upcoming uh, videos, I'll be showing you the difference between my Canon M50 experience, the G7X, and then the iPhone uh, XR, and just uh, get into some of the blogging differences the results might surprise you. Anyway, I want to thank my young friends. They were fantastic. Uh, you couldn't ask for better cooperation. I had a lot of fun with the young people like I have in all my travels. So this is a really positive video. I had a lot of fun. And it gives you a chance to get to know me. I love people. You'll even notice that I garnered uh, I love you from the guys. So hey, you can't ask for more than that for a quick introduction and meeting new friends. So. Uh, enjoy. Um, they're great guys. Um, I hope they get the chance to find this on YouTube. I try to give them my information and uh, exchange uh, some contact information. His name. Like, what's so up, guys? We're name. here in St. Chuck. We're here with. We're here in St. Chuck with Inspired Art Photos. Inspired Art Photos. And then off. With Inspired Art Photos behind the camera. Yes, sir. Go ahead. All right, you're hot. How are you guys doing today? We're here with Inspired Art Photos right behind the camera. We need and energy, Eli. Come on, run what it do back. you mean? Run it back. All right, back. All right. I got okay. this. I okay. got this. We all just got to jump in the back. What's up, guys? We're here, We're with, here Inspired with Inspired Art Photos. Photo. The yes, man behind the camera. It's the camera. Gang, Loving gang, life, gang. enjoying the weather, being a happy guy, just making friends. You know, that's all what really life is about. You also know, about making memories. Photos are good for that. For sure. Love. <laughs> this guy has an awesome camera, awesome technique with his treading sticks. He, he knows the yeah. drill, you know, we out here treading sticks gets, life, all the baby. The, gets all the ladies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or so we hear. So we hear, so the man tells us. Yep. I think it's life. true. Actually, it's all about the lady. It's all, it's all about, about the lady. lady. The it's all about the lady. End game. End game. Respect. Only one of them. <laughs> it's about the game, the lady, and that money. <laughs> Alrighty, dudes. I'm going to cancel out on you just right. because I want to let you get on your trekking there. Okay. Thanks for uh, coming along and blessing my day, man. Love you, sir. Well, I decided uh, to show this simple color grade correcting overexposure in a clip because almost everybody has a copy of. Uh, iMovie if they're on the Mac platform at all, anywhere from a MacBook Air through an iMac Pro. And I've been uh, using DaVinci Resolve since uh, version 12, but sometimes when I want to get something done in a real simply in a hurry, I'll just fire up iMovie and use that. So I am familiar with the program. I started using it a number of years ago, but I wanted to go ahead and cover this uh, simple color grade. So in the... Um, screen you can see in the left that the guys were very very uh, overexposed so the first thing that I started with was clicking the auto adjustment uh, that's that uh, thing that looks like a magic wand up in the left corner uh, of the editing tab I have it circled and so that's just the very first step next uh, I wanted to bring the exposure adjustment down slightly and again, it, you can't do the whole thing because it'll make it completely um, wonky. Uh, I don't know if that's a technical term or not. So you make a little bit of an exposure adjustment down. Um, if you've ever worked with uh, the presets in Photoshop with exposure, like the minus one or plus one, it also makes a gamma adjustment. So uh, that's what we're going to do now. And so when you change the exposure, um, the next step is to affect the part of the image that needs a little more tweaking. In this case, you pull the highlights down. And as you uh, bring the exposure down, it's going to do two things. It's going to increase the effective uh, contrast in the image, 
and it's also going to make the image oversaturated. So uh, the next adjustment after we adjust the highlights, and uh, so you can look that I have highlights pulled down, um, is to go and make a slight uh, saturation adjustment. That's the red bar on the far right of the adjustment tab. And then finally, the last step is to uh, decrease contrast slightly. Again, all effects of increasing saturation uh, visually because of the gamma difference make the image look over contrasty. And so um, it's a multi-step process. First thing we did was hit the auto adjustment. Then we made a small exposure adjustment down. Then we pulled the highlights down because that's what we really wanted to affect in the image. And then finally, uh, we desaturated slightly because the effect of changing the exposure downward makes the image look more saturated. And then finally, a, a final contrast adjustment uh, to reduce, uh, because of the gamma change, reduce the uh, contrast in the image. So there you have it. It's a real simple process. Um, it's about five steps, and I've tried to make it real clear for you. And uh, I tried to capture this uh, on screen, but since I was working with iMovie, uh, my capture software didn't work perfectly, so it was just easier to do it as narration over a still picture. Hit that like button if this helped you. Please subscribe. And if you want to get notified of my next video, hit that bell.